I meet Lena. We go on, or we hang out like two times. And then after that, we didn't see each other for like a couple months. And then... Wait, well, hold on. Well, her, you can't skip past it. Did you have sex when you met those two times? Yes. Okay. Cool. So we hang out a couple times. And this is like way back in the day, dude. This is like 2016 when we were still downtown. Okay. And then, so, but she met House Phone like through me because like even like the first time we hung out, House Phone just happened to be there, right? And so me and her are like having nothing to do with each other after that. Like, and then he hangs out with her like a couple months later and they end up sleeping together. And then a couple, maybe even like a couple weeks or like a month after that, me and her hang out again. And then from there, we start hanging out more and more. And that kind of like eventually turns us into us dating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Baby JTV. Apparently, I keep on doing these no jumbo videos because this is a effing disaster, man. This is a disaster. This is a, you know, this is a downfall of a channel I really used to like. You know what I mean? Of content creators I used to like. I'm not saying I'm a fan of Adam, but I used to be very fond of his work. But I'm not no more. Okay? Let me make this perfectly clear. I put the video at the beginning. Uh, Adam22 or Adolf22 admits to House Phone having slept with his fiance, future wife, baby mother way before they met. Now, look, if you're a grown up, you're a grown ass man. You're not a 14 year old, 15 year old virgin. You know that women have passed. Okay? But where it gets complicated is when friend groups, right, have slept with each other and it becomes dicey. What do I mean by that? When friend groups sleep with each other, there is usually some type of animosity or some type of spice, you know, to some degree. Right. And that's very, very common in the white culture. And I'm saying the white culture for a reason. Why am I saying that? Because. That's what Adam is a part of, right? Within the white culture, they do... I'm, I'm going to keep it real, bro. There is some weird sexual things, okay? And I'm not saying this to hate or disrespect because I love my white people who are solid, who are cool. I'm not trying to, you know, even be racist in any type of way. I'm just keeping it real, you know? Within the white culture, you have situations like Adam and Lena <laughs> where they're two active porn stars, <laughs> <laughs> they they also have no problem with the gayness, right? With the 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 all right, maybe not to the gayness, but I'm saying they have a more open mind on those sexual things. Okay? That's why when Adam 22 exposed House Phone for having done things with a transformer or a trans person, right? That's why it was a bigger deal for House Phone as a black man. And nothing for Danny Mullen and Adam 22 as two white people within the black culture, the hip hop culture. OK, so when he did that, it was a big sign of disrespect. He didn't see it as disrespect. He didn't even apologize really for what he did. <laughs> and whatever apologies that after it's been lackluster. And he because he doesn't feel like he did anything wrong. Right. And that's the problem with individuals like this. Individuals like this think not only that they're better than you black people, but they think they can do nothing wrong. This is that white liberal subculture where they look down on you Negroes. This is the destinies of the world. OK, the Danny Mullins of the world. Right. And for them to get infused in this no jumper hip hop universe in the black context of the West Coast. Right. They think they're better than you, Negro. <laughs> In Black History Month, they're firing blacks. You see what I'm saying? So why is this important that Adam 22 said this? Because he's speaking the truth. And I can at least respect him for saying the truth, right? But he said it because Kiki, right, the former security guard, Big Ski, exposed him. You think he would volunteer up this information? Absolutely not. Right. And I, I'm telling you something like this. There's a crazier secret about Adam 22 that's probably going to come out. I wouldn't be surprised if he's a pedophile. man. I wouldn't be surprised if he did things with minor we women, minors. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he did some drugging or some sexual deviancy ish, because guess what? If you are willing 
okay, to have your wife, your fiance, the baby mother of your kids do threesomes with you on uh, OnlyFans to make extra money when you don't have to, when you don't have to at all, then your sexual degeneracy is definitely high. Your sexual degeneracy is definitely high and you are probably somebody who does, who goes on the illegal side as well, who goes on the super disgusting part as well. And I believe that's the secret that House Phone is holding on. See, House Phone is such a loyal dude. This is what happens when you're loyal to people who ain't shit. And let this be a lesson to y'all. Be careful who you're loyal to. Be careful who you give your efforts to and energy to. It's super important. It's super important. Don't play with that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm happy for this downfall. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not a fan of Adam 22 because he represents. I know I'm going to get dislikes on this video. Don't care. He represents the issues that happen in black culture where there's people who are not from the culture, whether they be white or maybe even black, right? Who are maybe Indian, maybe of all other Latino, all other races who come and profit off the backs of the people who already invented the culture, right? So this was gonna happen and I hope happens. I hope the house phone pulls a Pat McAfee or AD or T-Rail pull a Pat McAfee because Pat McAfee used to be part of Barstool Sports, right? He joined the culture of Barstool Sports. He fit the brand of Barstool Sports, but then was able to create his own brand and branch out and become bigger than sometimes even Barstool Sports itself. So that's what I hope the mandem does. You know what I mean? Because no jumper is a shit show right now. Right? And it's run by an egotistical, narcissistic loser. Right? Who acts like an immature child. He even treats his wife bad. <laughs> If you see some of his interviews, he treats his wife pretty bad. You know what I mean? People like that have to learn the hard way. They have to go through pain in order to learn. Right? And I love it. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Big Baby JTV, longer video than normal. I'm out.